Hi everyone, welcome to unit two, clean it up. So this is the first lesson of the second unit that we are running for our ladies beginners in our Are You With Me series. And what I want to do today is dig into the Sydney Beaches data a little bit, um, starting to answer some questions about it. But before we begin, we need to do a little bit of housework. So let's start by opening our, our proj file. And we'll come back to this environment that we now know really well. So um, this has brought up the script that we were working on last time. If R doesn't remember that you were doing that last time, you can find that in your scripts file. Remember that our data lives in our data folder. And what we can do is just run this whole script to get back to where we finished last time. Um, you can either select all of, click into your script and select all of it and go run. Or if you um, use the source button, that will run the script from top to bottom. All right, so in running the script top to bottom, we have our beaches data, and we can have a little bit of a look at this. Um, at, let's start by looking at the columns and seeing how user-friendly those columns are likely to be. So let's make a new section in our code called tidying columns. Now, you can, so the last thing we ran um, in our output was summary skim, summary and then skim. Um, my favorite um, way to look at what your columns are called is a function called glimpse. So let's run that and see what we get. You can see here that actually these columns are not terrible. Your real data will be much worse. So ideally, you want to make your variables named things that the computer likes to read in a format that you also like to read. And so it's best not to have gaps in variable names. So it's nice here that they've got beach ID all together. And if you're going to have gaps, put an underscore or something to fill the gap. Um, really, the the variable that is causing is going to cause us some strife, both because it's really long, and um, we, if we're going to type it a lot, we don't really want to have to type this out. Um, is the entrococci values um, in this last column? So I want to show you a few um, functions that you can use to clean up um, column names to make them all consistent and easier to work with. Right? So we've already loaded the tidyverse and as we learned last time the tidyverse is like an umbrella package that contains lots of sub packages one of which is called dplyr and dplyr is a data wrangling package that includes lots of functions that allow you to select and rename and filter and arrange and change your data um, in a relatively user-friendly kind of way. So what you can do with dplyr using a select function is to select all of your columns and reformat the name of all of them to make them consistent, which you might want to do if you're importing this from an Excel sheet that you haven't thought very much about um, the consistency of how you've named your columns. So what we can do is use um, the select all function. And the first, um, if you use um, these functions and put a bracket and then just wait, often it'll pop up with a little yellow box like this, Alternatively, if you press tab at this point, it tells us what things it's um, what um, it's expecting you to enter at this point. So a table object. This is just the data that we um, that we are going to 
with that we want to select. So we want to select all the columns and beaches. And then the next thing is a function. And the function that we want to, um, I want to show you is to upper. So you can change all of the names of your beaches variables to uppercase if you want to by using select all beaches to upper. And so if you have a look here, you can see that it has changed them all to uppercase. Okay. Similarly, you can do exactly the same thing and change them oops, all to lower. So it changes them all to lower. Um, the janitor package that we were talking about um, the other day, the last time we were talking, will change all of your variable names to lowercase and put underscores in them. So selecting them and changing them all to upper or all to lower is an option, but you can also use the clean underscore names um, function from the janitor package and we just say clean the names of beaches whoops okay error in clean names could not find function clean names you know why that is because up here we have loaded tidyverse here in skim but not janitor we load the janitor package and then come back down and run that line, then it can find it. So here you can see that it's actually put an underscore between words in the um, in the variable names, and it's changed them all to lowercase with underscores between parts of the variable names. Um, now. This, even though, so you can get a nice view of just the names of your variables by saying name speeches. So it will just list them out, right? So you can see here, even though we have been running to upper and then to lower and then beaches on um, the clean names on our beaches data, you can see when we um, ask for the names of the variables of beaches, it hasn't actually changed anything. Right? So this is the idea of, that is kind of hard to get your head around when you're first starting to use R, is that every function you run on your raw data shows you what the output is, but doesn't actually change anything about the raw data. Right? So if you wanted to change something about the raw data, then you need to make a assign the output of that um, operation to a new object. Right? So let's say we wanted to keep the output. We liked that these we like these new clean names and we want to keep them. What we would do is um, create an, a new object. We call it clean beaches using the assignment tool that create a new object called clean beaches that is the output of this operation. So if we run that, you can see another object appears in our environment. It is exactly the same as beaches except that the variable names are cleaned up using the generator package. All right, so let's try looking at the names of clean beaches. Yeah, so you can see it's made them all lowercase and put underscores. I still don't like this enterococci underscore CFU underscore 100 mils. That is going to be very annoying to type. So you can use the rename function to rename particular columns in your data frame. And um, the easiest way to do that is just say I want to rename. And if you press tab at this point, it'll tell you what it's expecting. 
So it's expecting the name of the data. Okay, so the data is called clean beaches. And then um, what you want to do is tell it the name of the thing, the new name that you want the variable to be called. So let's rename this enterococci, very long thing, as beach bugs. And then the name of the old variable. Okay, so now it's created, um, it's renamed our data column on the end, beach bugs. Now, I can almost never remember um, which order these renamed things go in. It, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me that you put the new name first and then the old name. So I'm just going to leave a note to myself here that says, for rename... Um, use new name equals old name. And then the next time you come back to it, remember that the order goes that way. All right, so what we want to do, because we want this beach bugs to um, remain, so we can test this out again. If we go names clean features you can see that it hasn't renamed it's only um, done it temporarily so our clean beaches data still has this very unwieldy name for the bacteria column so what we can do is make the output of this rename function um, sign it to an object in our environment. Now, when we did that before, we made a new name. So we took our beaches data, we cleaned up the names and called the new thing clean beaches. I don't necessarily want to make another new thing. So you, what you can do is overwrite the objects that you have, that you already have in your environment by just calling it the same thing. So in this case, I'm going to say, I want this, I want clean beaches the um, the name of the object that is created after you rename the clean beaches this particular column um, this new name beach bugs so if we run that now we're going to and look at our clean beaches data we can see along the end now we have this new um, much easier to refer to named column called beach bugs